Okay, let's pause for a second. Did you hear that? It's that distinct but familiar buzzing sound that's in the background of every anime series ever. The sound is usually accompanied by the visual of the main character's home or a cozy suburban backdrop. But why? Why is this specific sound used in so many anime series? As an American, specifically from Hawaii, I have never really heard this sound outside of anime. At first I thought it was some kind of bird, but it turns out the sound is actually made by this. This insect is called the cicada, or semi in Japanese. The semi are characterized by their large, wide-set eyes, translucent wings, and of course, their prominent mating song. Male semi have an exoskeletal membrane in their abdomen called a timbal. They vibrate that membrane to create the unique buzzing song that the species is known for. There are roughly 30 different types of semi that can be found in Japan, but the one that's most likely responsible for the infamous anime buzzing sound is the Min Min Semi. Semi hunting and bug collecting in general is a traditional pastime for children in Japan. You can often find children with large nets and bug boxes draped around their necks scouring the trees where the semi like to nest and feed on sap. Side note, this is probably what inspired the bug catcher trainer in the Pokemon series. The Viridian Forest is probably filled with semi. The semi spend most of their life underground, and only during one part of the year do they burrow out of the dirt to molt and reproduce. Just like the crow of the rooster signifies the rising of the sun, and the chirping of crickets represents the silence of the night, the vibrant hum of the semi is synonymous with the coming of summer in Japan. Summer is not said to have officially arrived until the first buzz of the semi can be heard. After emerging from the ground, the semi only have one to two weeks to mate before eventually dying. Their short lifespan reminds the Japanese people of how temporary and fleeting life is, and like the loud cry of the semi, to make the best of what little time we have here. The semi is a popular subject of haikus, as its poetic syntax symbolizes the brevity of the semi's lifespan. To the uninitiated, the shrill of the semi can be heard as incessant and often annoying, but it's used in anime and other forms of Japanese media to invoke the feeling of nostalgia and the familiarity of a home. Although I'm not from Japan and I've only ever visited once, I can understand the sentiment of a soundscape that brings back cherished memories. Even now as I record this video, I never realized how little sounds like birds chirping or planes flying overhead shape my perception of being at home. It's probably why the buzz of the semi is always accompanied by the visual of a Japanese town or suburban trees, to give the viewer that extra sense of connection that's especially common in slice of life animes. So next time you hear the song of the semi in the background of your favorite anime, take time to appreciate the moment. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a little bit of a different video than I usually do. I'm actually trying out some new editing tools. Um, but if you liked that video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And also check out my Twitch. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Come hang out. I'll see you guys next time.